Hey guys, so right before Ender Sites begins, I wanted to make a quick video and talk about the build that I was doing in Scorch, which I'm gonna be finishing after Ender Sites or a couple days uh, into Ender Sites. And I wanted to do this video now because, like, normally I only make uh, videos about the finished builds, but this is not a finished build, this is only level 77. There's still quite a lot of more to improve for this, but uh, uh, this. This is kind of almost nostalgic build. I, like many years ago, did a big region build and I had a lot of fun with that and I know a lot of people also just like in general big region builds. So I wanted to revisit that and the concept is nothing really new. However, there is a new thing uh, which we didn't have before, which is a new modifier. And that modifier is increased life regeneration rate. Previously, we only had like flat life region, percentage life region, and increased life recovery rate, which actually didn't even show up in the tooltip. But now we also have increased life regeneration rate, which works almost exactly like life recovery rate, but just for region. And the concept for this is, uh, like I said, nothing new. This is Inquisitor with the Pious Path uh, node, which essentially allows your engine, which allows your life region to also give the same amount of uh, energy region. So you basically go hybrid life energy shield. You don't even need to match your energy shield to your amount of life. You basically double your your region, your, your, your sustain. Normally you would also first take damage from your energy shield. Once you lose energy shield, then you will start taking damage from life. So we kind of bypass that by using Corrupted Soul, which comes from Glorious Vanity, Dorianis, um, which gives 50% of non-chaos damage taken bypasses energy shield including Righteous Fire. It's not just for hits. So when we activate Righteous Fire, normally it will first drain your energy shield and then once it depletes energy shield, it will start draining life. Uh, but the damage, the drain would be combined of uh, life and energy shield. However, since it splits the damage and we get uh, a region into life and into energy shield, uh, it's very easy to sustain Righteous Fire. This build is like, wouldn't say very tanky, but I just wanted big region. And I know that this build is not really gonna have very high damage because I'm over investing into regeneration rate. I am getting way more than I need to. I can sustain Righteous Fire and on top of that still get massive, massive region. The build that I have planned is not up to date because I'm still swapping items, but uh, I'm aiming, at first I thought I'm gonna reach 10k combined life plus yes re region, but it's gonna be less and I ran into a couple issues where I was just dying way too quickly from here's damage. So I had to adjust the build and I'll probably only get around 5k uh, life plus energy shield sustain. In the plan I have like 6k. Actually I may I may get more because I don't have a couple other uh, region items. Uh, now one thing that I actually kind of overlooked was that you only have region if you if you create consecrated ground. Like you see if I run non without stopping for over 4 seconds, I stop getting region. I have to stop to uh, kind of re-trigger Consecrated Ground because Pious Path only gives you life region as energy shield region only if you have created Consecrated Ground recently, which is 4 seconds. So you have to stop constantly, but it's not, a, not an issue because I also kind of need to use Flame Dash because I got the Vines. Uh, which slows me down a lot, but if you you see uh, vines stack up to 10 and it uh, gives you massive uh, movement speed uh, reduction. However, if you flame dash, you remove all the vines and you can move quickly again. So I'm building an incinerate build. <laughs> Doesn't have to be incinerate, but I just miss playing incinerate and uh, I wanted to see uh, how bad it is with the challenge skills. Once she introduced uh, more defensive options, uh, maybe it's not as scary to just stand still and channel. Uh, for now it still seems a bit scary, uh, quite a lot scary, especially for here's damage. Uh, but I just wanted to experiment with Incinerate and also by the way, it looks so cool using Incinerate and the Automaton Held of Ash. It just synergizes so well, the colors and the distortion looks so good. Uh, and yeah, the main focus is to get more region than you need, just as much as possible. Also, I can't stress this enough every time I make a video, this is a budget build. This is, I don't have much currency. I had like 10, below 10 exalts budget and I still haven't spent half of it. So I still got more room to improve and uh, you can get ab absurdly more uh, regeneration rate. But I want to keep it on a budget so that more people could actually 
play this and uh, in the end it's not gonna have a lot of dps but it should be able to deal with um, retter maps and uh, we'll see how in the end it feels tankiness wise if it's good enough if it's if it's not i will show it anyway uh, but yeah for now just a quick video about uh, this upcoming big region build so you want to stack uh, normal life regeneration like flat uh, but then you also want to combine with increased life regeneration rate which you can get on a lot of items on uh, gloves boots helmet uh, then on the belt you can get increased life recovery rate which is uh, elders influence the increased life regeneration rate is just a normal in uh, not influence just a normal mod uh, which i believe rolls up to 20 up to 21 percent and there are quite a lot of region nodes on the passive skill tree like uh, this one node 15% increased life re regeneration rate and it also gives up to 1.8% uh, uh, life regen of course not counting the previous nodes uh, there's also this one it gives a bit of flat life regen which helps early on if you need uh, although this is inquisitor uh, so yeah as you can see getting that getting that which is 1% regen getting that another 1% uh, I'm also using where did I place it replica fragile bloom when i get hit i get up to 3.5 percent life region per second but every second i lose uh, one stack and uh, one stack is 0.7 percent so i'm still testing if it's worth using this or not uh, you can also get on cluster jewel stuff like that uh, regenerate two percent of life per second while stationary and uh, also while leveling i was using cast while shutting body swap and it does count as you are being stationary when you flicker between enemies with the body swap. You can also get more region from uh, Banton. Regenerate 2% life per second while stationary. So I'm going to be upgrading this one. Uh, you can also get up to 3% uh, life re region per second during flask effect. But I don't have unlocked that mod. So I can still get that one. I still need to change the gloves to get uh, well increased life regeneration rate. Uh, it's just tricky because resistances are pretty hard for me to get enough. I will also be adding Enduring Charges uh, and Enduring Cry just to heal me. At the moment I got um, at least tooltip. I got 2.2k life region and 1.8k yes region. But I think it's not counting the... Uh, but I mean this build is just trying to get as much region as possible. Even if you don't need to. Um, I'm also using Holy Flame Totem just to apply combustion for the most part. Uh, also, I'm pretty much, wouldn't say immune to curses, but I am very resistant to curses because Consecrated Ground gives 50% reduce curse effect. I also got, I got a flash mod to reduce curse effect on me uh, and also got this massive ring which, which I crafted quite some time ago, which is life on hit. By the way, I still don't have leech. I'm not sure if I will be getting... Oh, and also this is kind of strength stacking. So it does actually make sense to use Dune uh, Maze. Which adds a lot of DPS for me. Because it gives strength. And also getting Iron Will. Not from the Maze, but uh, from the Passive 3 Iron Will. And gas Speed is also very important. And also increased damage per 8 strength. The more strength you stack, the more life you're gonna get. The more damage you're gonna get. And like it's double dipping on damage. You're getting damage from... Ironville and you are getting damage from this. Also I decided that I will need to use Loris Lantern. Uh, like I said here's damage is very scary when I was doing incursions. Like I can tank a lot but as soon as I start getting hit by here's damage it's just very scary. And currently I'm using uh, Petrified Blood as well to maintain low life getting the Pain Attunement because this build doesn't really have much damage so I had to rush to Pain Attunement to get a bit more damage. And in the end it works well with the Loris Lantern because I'm getting Hairs resistance, also getting more elemental resistance which I needed, uh, some movement speed which I also need and then damage of enemies hitting you is unlucky while you are on low life which essentially gives you a chance to take less damage because it rolls damage twice and picks the lower, lower number but that's only for hits. So I'm not actually stun immune, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing about that, maybe just getting uh, over 6k life will be enough to, to not be stunned. Because I want to have this, well, reduce damage from damage over time, which is also c countering the Righteous Fire a bit. And also upgrade this, the, the last line, maybe later, just to have more Heer's Rest against damage over time. Right now, I'm not cat Heer's Rest, I got 27 Heer's Rest. If I could get the Gloss with Heer's Rest, but that's very expensive because I still need, well, I wouldn't say need LA Weakness on a hit. I just want it so that I don't need to, wouldn't need to click more buttons. 
and it works well for clear speed because you don't have much damage so you want as much damage for clear speed as possible without any conditions since i already using loris lantern and i got massive ring with life and and uh, life gain on hit i don't i can't really get the uh, flower built on hit ring anymore so my only bet is uh, LA weakness on a hit. On gloves, which is a corruption, I had these gloves on before, it gives a bit of strength, life, uh, some res. So it works for now, but I would like to replace those with um, increased life recovery, increased life regeneration rate, and then I would end up with more regen. Uh, for now, I even anointed the extra HS res. I, I wanted to anoint the damage because this build, like you saw in PUB, barely has 1.2 million DPS while channeling. The current uh, build is still being changed and uh, once I get all the stuff done and finish leveling, then I'll do a full build guide video. Uh, but for the next couple days, I'll probably be playing Heist. For the Heist, I actually didn't really want to plan build. I'm not sure if I'm going to be enjoying the Endless Doors, so I just quickly planned some kind of Holy Flame Totem build, which doesn't really have DPS because I don't have any items on. Uh, but also I'm not sure how, what level should I be aiming for, maybe I'll just go for level uh, 50 and that's gonna be it, or maybe I'll go higher and maybe play for like 2 or 3 days. Uh, that's why I wanted to make this video now, because I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be playing Endless Doors, Endless Heist. Uh, also for Endless Heist, just a quick tips, you want some tanky build, you don't necessarily need that much DPS because you can just run past enemies. Of course, you're still gonna want XP and you're gonna have to kill those enemies, so good clear speed and tankiness uh, will help a lot. It is SSF and don't really plan on any items that require uh, some leak specific item or some influence items because influence items are gonna be harder to get. Uh, you, you will still be able to get those and uh, we got a, a lot of uniques that are now global drops so you could still get those or chance them. Try to plan something that is uh, pretty generic and does not require very specific unique items or influence modifiers. That's pretty much it for this video. I guess good luck in the endless doors. Uh, don't get stuck behind doors. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.